Hello there! My name is Niklas. The craft maiden is working very hard on another video, so in this one I'm going to help her out a little. Perhaps you've already seen the video where the craft maiden is making a model of Hogwarts. To be able to safely store and display this model, she needs some kind of housing for it. So in this video I'm going to make a tool that can bend plexiglass for this purpose. It is actually quite simple, you just have to heat up the plexiglass to 160 degrees centigrade and then it will become soft and you can bend it. With this tool you will heat up the plexiglass using a resistor wire which is placed in an aluminium channel in a straight line. For this project you need a few materials and some tools and I've listed everything in the description box down below. To make the surface smooth, I sanded the plywood and then dried off the dust with a moist cloth. As you can see there were still a lot of cracks in the wood and to solve this problem I used a lightweight wall filler. After sanding the plywood once more, I spray painted it with a primer and with a white color. I then cut the aluminium channel into the right length. To the cable I wanted to cut out a channel below the wooden panel. And for this the Dremel is a very handy tool. To attach the small plywood piece to the main plywood piece I first drill a few holes. I used a drill bit to countersink the holes. We thought that PlexFlex was the perfect name for the device. And here you can see the craft made in cutting out the letters in a plastic foil, which we later spray painted over to attach the letters to the piece. To attach the aluminium channel I used double sided tape. I used the angle ruler to attach the support perpendicular to the aluminium channel. I attached rubber feet on the back side of the device. To know which angle you bend the plexiglass, I wanted to build a protractor on the device. And here you can see how I made it. Between each line it is 15 degrees. I built this small housing for the power cables using some leftover plywood and cardboard. And then it is time to assemble the parts.
it is nice to have a pair of extra hands for soldering. All screws that were too long I cut down using a metal saw. When the resistor wire becomes hot it will elongate, so to solve this problem we need to use a spring of some sort. The spring that I use here is originally intended for an electric guitar, which I have cut down into the right length. The resistor wire was very stiff and quite hard to work with, as you will see in the next few clips. I found out that it was easiest to first attach the wire to the spring and then to the screw on the other side. But even then the wire broke several times. Now when the device is ready, I will cut out a few smaller pieces of plexiglass to try it out. Using a Stanley knife I cut approximately 15 times on each side of the plexiglass. After this it is very easy to break the plexiglass into two pieces. As you can see here, I accidentally slipped one time with a knife. I found it easier to cut without any mistakes when I turned the glass around. So if you're right handed like me, be sure to cut from this side as I do here. By trial and error I found that a current of 7 ampere was just enough to make the wire glow, which is exactly what we need. And here you can also see the spring keep the wire tight as it heats up. It took approximately 2 minutes to soften up the glass to be able to bend it. The glass wants to flex back to its original shape, so you need to hold it in place for a couple of seconds. Of course you should turn off the power supply first. Even though the wire is very hot, the glass itself was actually cool enough to be able to hold it without any problems. 
As you probably have noticed, the plexiglass here is not transparent as the glass MOA will need to use for the housing of our Hogwarts model. As we worked on this project we came up with a few other ideas of what we could do with plexiglass, which you will see in another video. Be sure to follow the Craft Maiden on Instagram for sneak peeks on this and other projects. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe and hit that bell button. Bye!